Good, good morning, St. Mary's. I'm Dana. And I'm Kaya. And we are waiting on the script. To, yeah. Ah, thank you, thank Ms. You. <laughs> <laughs> and here's today's menu in the Shea Cafe. We have the Platillos Latinos free range chicken enchiladas with organic pinto beans, the sandwich special free range turkey BLT or black forest ham, the tossed special Cape Farms roasted Brussels sprout salad, and the vegetarian plant inspired oven roasted vegetables enchiladas with organic pinto beans. And in student life, we start today's show with a message from Mr. Alvarez on the season of Lent. Good morning, Panthers. Mr. Alvarez here sharing some important information about Lent. We are currently in the second week of Lent. Lent is a 40-day season in the liturgical calendar that begins on Ash Wednesday and concludes at sundown on Holy Thursday. It is meant to prepare our hearts for the resurrection of Jesus on Easter. Lent is 40 days to recognize the time Jesus spent in the desert praying, fasting, and giving himself to his ministry. During Lent, we are called to pray, fast, and give. Through prayer, we build a deeper relationship with God by talking to the person who continues to pour his love into us. Through fasting, we learn to exercise self-control to become the people God intended us to become. And through giving, we give of ourselves to serve our brothers and sisters who need it the most. As St. Mary's, our Lenten theme is reflection, redemption, and reconciliation. Let's use this time to reflect and forgive. Who are the people in your life that need forgiveness? In what ways do you need to forgive yourself? Lent is a time of healing and renewal, so let's use this time to heal. Panthers, I'm challenging you this Lent. Strive to become the person God is calling you to be. Don't treat Lent as an ordinary time. It's not. We are called to be in deeper communion with God in our community. Follow that call. God bless you all. And now back to Dana and Kaya. And now let's head back to Studio B with Emmy from Inclusive Community and find out what we are celebrating this month. Hey Panthers, it's Women's History Month. Make sure to pay attention to announcements where our own inclusive community members will be commemorating fantastic women for their significant contributions to equity. Get ready to learn more about the amazing ways women have influenced human history. And don't forget to tell a woman in your life how much you appreciate her this month. Now back to announcements. And attention students, every Wednesday, the Epicurean windows will be open from 10.20 a.m. to 10.35 a.m. for the first 15 minutes of break and mandatory study time. At the, and at the end of announcements today, please fill out a brief but important survey regarding your Enrichment Week experience. You will find the survey in your SM Panthers email. If you have some ideas for future local courses or travel destinations, please add them to your evaluation. Thanks for your feedback. And here's a very special announcement about Purim. To learn more, here are Amira and Molly from Inclusive. Have you ever heard of Purim? Have you ever eaten hamantashen? Have you ever heard the story of the brave Queen Esther? Have you ever read the whole Megillah? No? Tell me more. It's okay. Most non-Jews haven't. Purim is a celebration that falls on the 14th day of Adar in the Jewish calendar, which is usually around March. On Purim, Jews around the world joyously celebrate the thwarting of Haman. Oh! Long story short, the Persian king, Ahasuerus, was married to the closeted Jew, Queen Esther. The king's top advisor, Haman, no! plotted to kill all of the Jews in Persia. Esther and her relative Mordechai realized that they had to do something. So they devised a plan to reveal Haman's no! evilness to the king, and happily, Haman no! was hanged on the gallows that he had built for all of the Jews. And so this holiday represents the quintessential Jewish celebration. They tried to kill us, we survived, let's eat! And the most famous Jewish food for poor is hamantaschen, a cookie that represents the tricorn hat of Haman. No! You might be wondering why we keep booing and shaking this unused box of pasta. Well, on Purim, we tell the story in the reading of the Megillah, the book of Esther, and every time he who must not be named is mentioned, we make a lot of noise to drown it out. There are a lot of other ways that we make merry on Purim. For adults, this might mean getting drunk, but that's just for adults. However, everyone is supposed to dress up in costumes and have a grand old time. This celebration is to include everyone, so we give gifts and charity to anyone in need on this day. Wow. Pour him some mail, everyone. everyone. Okay, we're back. And now here's Shiloh with your Panther Athletics. 
Hey Panthers, for Mon and for Monday, St. Mary's men's golf team upended the Albany Cougars by a score of 164 to 238 at Tilden Park Golf Course. The Panthers were led by junior Marlon Jones, medal score of 38, and sophomore Silas Nangs, 40. And yesterday, our Panthers defeated the Jaguars of Jesse Bethel by the score of 167 to 239. St. Mary's once again was led by junior Marlon Jones and is one over par 37, freshman Max Candy's 38, to move to an undefeated 5-0 in league matches. 12 different Panthers won 18 of the 24 events consisted in the track team's initial T-Cal meet. Leading the way were a bevy of juniors, led by distant stars Sophia Jackson and Mateo Malco Allen. Sophia was the day's top performer, winning the girls 400, 800, 1600, anchoring the victorious 4x400 four relay. Mateo, meanwhile, won the boards 800, 1600 and 3200. Both Sophia and Mateo, as well as the rest of the distance squad, used the meet as a workout in preparation for invitational competitions this weekend. And today's and today, the men's tennis plays at Albany. The softball team travels to Vallejo and have a 2 p.m. early dismissal. And in baseball, the varsity squad travels to El Cerrito, while the JV team hosts them right here. Good luck, Panthers. And now back to Dana Kai for today's birthdays. And unfortunately, we have no birthdays today. So that's it for today. Have a great day, St. Mary's.